for a change from Bradley Beal there, and you see it every, 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 almost every season in the NBA, a coaching change can mean a philosophical change and sometimes a radical one. Now, in this case, the roster turned over a bunch as well because of the Russell Westbrook trade. But this team has been mostly abysmal defensively over the last few years. They improved toward the end of last year, but mostly not great, 20th in the league in defensive yeah. rating. And you're Bradley Beal talking about nobody believed he could play defense and their defensive approach and maybe that has something to do with them being 5-1 and one right now. Yeah, and, and listen, the, the guys that they brought in, you know, you don't discount when you're able to bring in guys who are complementary pieces that have been a part of a championship team, it helps because they do appreciate the importance of defense. And you saw the last play by KCP with mm -hmm. the strip. Uh, Kyle Kuzma, 17 rebounds in this game tonight. And, and he learned how to have an impact without focusing on scoring when he was in L.A. And, like, that carries over to this group. And, and give Coach Unsell a lot of credit for getting them to buy in. Spencer Dinwiddie, again, didn't have a great offensive game in terms of shooting it, but he was there playing hard. Montrez Harrell, another guy that's come over and, and given them some value. So they're a much improved basketball team. And mm -hmm. I tell you what, that was a fun game, the way they played, because it looked like it was over in overtime. Yeah. And they just kept fighting, kept competing, and found a way to win a game. There's so much deeper in addition to the, uh, the better – defense the better approach well Thomas Shepard has done a great job when he revamped this roster they have depth now look at it. you got Montrez Harrell who's two years ago six man of the year mm -hmm. who's he's playing lights out you got Kyle Kuzma who's been on the championship team these guys understand how to play and then you got Spencer Dinwiddie who is an all-star caliber point guard and to Bradley Beal's point what he's saying is in the past I look around I had to score 35 I didn't have enough energy to score 35 and play defense but now we can win games when I go out and get 18, 20 points. I don't have to force anything. I don't have to hunt for shots. I can play basketball now. And it's refreshing because what he understands, what the lead in the league and score and get you when you don't make the playoffs? <laughs> right. Nothing. Yeah, people pat you on the back. You make the all-star team. But you sit at home every year and you watch everybody else yeah. play. Yeah. So what Bradley Bill has finally figured out, man, look, I want to play in the postseason. I want to have a chance. And you look at these guys, if I guard my position, and I share the rock, and we become a closer team and a better team. And Wes Ansel Jr. is doing a tremendous job with this team. They have an identity. They play defense. They pass the ball. They can score. They are a good team. They are a playoff team, and that's the point that we talked about in the Eastern Conference. They are very good. They have no more easy outs in the Eastern, so Washington is going to be there at the end because their depth is not going to let them go anywhere. They shot uh, just over 36% and won this game yeah. Yeah. in double overtime. They would have never done that the last three No, well, no, it, no. It they, close. they had to outscore people. They, they yeah. played with an incredibly fast pace, and they had to outscore people because they just weren't ever getting stops. No, but it helps when your opponent goes two for 26 from, from three. Also, like that, that, they, didn't miss them, they didn't miss them on purpose. Boston didn't, didn't <laughs> hey. play well off. This is right. what, it was an ugly game. It was a really physical game. Really? And so. Yeah. That contributed to the fact that both teams struggled to make shots. But, again, those games count just as much as when you, you shoot it well. Like, those, in fact, those are probably more rewarding. And you just heard it in Bradley Beal's uh, uh, comments about how he felt better about that kind of a game because they had to win that game defensively. They had to make big stops down the stretch when it looked like that they were not going to be able to get away with a win.